That's right, and you can see those candles here behind me circling the ceremonial flagpole called the Nishan Sahib with the flag of the Sikh faith attached. They're lit by people working to heal and spread positivity after this horrific tragedy. Honoring the seven lives lost. Ten years ago, families huddled together along with local religious and state leaders like Governor Tony Evers, remembering the Sikhs killed when a white supremacist opened fire inside the Oak Creek Sikh Temple, August 5th, 2012. But sometimes time doesn't. It's taken me 10 years. I'm yet still not healed. There are days like I, I feel like I have nothing basically. Sikhs like Kamaljeet Sani honoring his mother, Paramjeet Kaur, killed in the shooting. The Racine County deputy says she was a deeply religious person who attended temple daily. For whatever reason, uh, divine intervention, I don't know what it was, but we didn't come that day. And unfortunately, she uh, didn't make it out. I think of her every day. Um, the day I, every day I put on my uniform. He's also honoring his mentor, retired Lieutenant Brian Murphy, the first responder to the scene, shot 15 times trying to stop the gunman. In his speech, Murphy says his deceased sister's voice kept him moving that day. And as I'm laying under the car, I hear my sister Elaine clear as a bell. Brian, you have to move now. And I roll out from under the car and I start moving and that's what saved my life. I know they're there. We just can't see them and we can't appreciate them, but they're there. Murphy's actions inspiring the next generation to move to. I told myself a couple days after the shooting that I would like to make a difference in our community and pay it forward. So I think to me personally today means that I've accomplished that goal. Caroline, quite the turnout this evening and the memorial events continue into the weekend. That's right. They're starting at 11 a.m. tomorrow, going until 3 p.m. Attendance is free, though if you do attend, you need to take your shoes off before going into the temple and you do need to have something covering your head. Caroline Reinwald, live from Oak Creek tonight.